Hello, and welcome to St. Patricia Parish. Today we honor the Immaculate Conception of Mary, our Blessed Mother. We join together to praise God, whose grace kept Mary free from sin, from the very first moment of her life. We also praise him for his love that freed us from sin the moment we were baptized into God's most precious family. As Catholics, we have a very special place in our heart for the Blessed Virgin Mary. We honor her as the mother of Jesus and the mother of us all, and so we honor her with two feast days. The Assumption is when she is assumed into heaven at the end of her life, and at the beginning of her life, we honor her with the feast day today of the Immaculate Conception, that she is conceived without sin because she would give birth to Jesus. So we honor her at this very special Mass, which is a holy day of obligation, and we begin our liturgy in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. As Mary said yes to God and gave herself up to God with her entire spirit and her entire body, we too give ourselves to God and we bow our heads and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. Like Mary, we are called to serve you in all things. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, mercy. And like Mary, we are called to uh, open ourselves to the presence of God's love in us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And like Mary, we are called to give birth to Jesus and to spread the gospel message to the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. And on this very special day, we say our Gloria, glory to God, God in the highest, highest, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Glory to God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son Jesus, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain of sin, by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her prayers we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord called out to Adam and asked, Where are you? Adam answered, I was naked, and when I heard you walking through the garden, I was afraid and hid. How did you know you were naked? God asked. Did you eat from the tree I told you not to? Adam said, It was that woman who you put here with me. She gave me some of the fruit, and I ate it. The Lord God then asked her, what have you done? The woman answered, The snake tricked me into eating some of that fruit. The Lord God said to the snake, Because of what you have done, you will suffer a greater curse than the cattle and the wild animals. For as long as you live, 
You will crawl on your stomach and eat dirt from the ground. You and this woman will hate each other. Your descendants and hers will always be enemies. One of them will crush your head and you will bite him on the heel. Adam named his wife Eve because she would become the mother of all people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Please respond, pray for us. Holy Mother, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us. us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. May God be in my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. God sent the angel Gabriel to a town of Nazareth in Galilee with a message for a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to Joseph from the house of the king of David. The angel greeted Mary and said, you are truly blessed. The Lord is with you. Mary was confused by the angel's words and wondered what they meant. Then the angel told Mary, don't be afraid. God is pleased with you and you will have a son. His name will be Jesus and he will be great and he will be called the son of God. The Most High and the Lord God will make him king as his ancestor David was a king and he will rule the people of Israel forever and his kingdom will never end and Mary asked the angel how could this happen I am not married yet the angel answered her the power of the Holy Spirit will come upon you and God's power will come over you so your child will be the son of the Most High your relative Elizabeth is also going to have a son, even though she is very old. No one thought that this could that she could ever have a baby, but in three months she will have a son. Nothing is impossible for God. Mary said, I am the Lord's servant, let it be done as you have said. But the angel then left her alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, when I was a young boy, I lived on a busy street on 47th Street, right on Damon Avenue. And there were a lot of cars that went by, and there were a lot of trucks and people would go by. And right across the street was a big baseball field. It was an empty lot, and there would be ball games to watch. And so I was always looking out of the window. And so I looked out of the window and saw all the activity outside. 
the people playing baseball, the different teams, especially in the evening, the people going shopping with, with their carts, walking down 47th Street and all the cars that went by and all the traffic. And my mother would go uh, shopping on uh, Ashland Avenue down 47th Street. And we didn't have a car. We didn't have an automobile. Now everybody has a car. But at that time, my father didn't have a car. And so my mother and father would go shopping. It was about, oh, five, six, seven blocks away. And they said, you stay home now and wait for us to come back. You wait for us. And usually grandma was my babysitter or my uncle, uncle, and he would take care of and kind of watch over me until mom and dad would come. And it would take some time because five or six blocks was a long way. It was almost a mile. And on Ashland Avenue, there was everything, all kinds of stores, department stores and pharmacies and clothes stores and five and 10 stores. Kind of like what we have today in a dollar store, five and 10 stores where you could buy all kinds of things there. And my mother would always say, you watch and wait for us to come back. Wait for us to come back. And so I knew that she would eventually come back and she would surprise me in some way. She would bring a little toy from the five and 10 store for me or a little book that she bought or a cupcake to eat but there would be some surprise that mother would bring. And so there was kind of a sense of anticipation as I looked through the window and waited for her, waited patiently for her to come back. And she would come back and I would give her a big hug and I would say, what did you bring me? What have you got for me? And she would smilingly take out of the out of the bag, out of her shopping bag, whatever she had brought, the cupcake or the toy or the book or the puzzle that she had. And I was a happy person because she had returned home and she had brought me this surprise that, that I had looked forward to. The reason I tell you that story today is for two reasons. One is that there's a sense of waiting that takes place. During the Feast of Advent, we have lit here in front in the altar, the Advent wreath, and we have two candles lit because we're moving closer to Christmas. And church year gives us this time of Advent, which is a time of preparation. We not only hang our Christmas tree lights and decorate our houses and bake things in the oven, but we also prepare our hearts. We prepare our hearts for Jesus. And John the Baptist was the prophet that said, prepare the way for the Lord, but prepare your heart. Change the things in your, in your world that need to be changed so Jesus can be born in your heart. Not only born in history, but be born also in your heart. And so we wait and we work and we watch and we are vigilant. And so there's a sense of waiting, just as I waited for my mother to return, watching through the window, we wait and watch for God to come into the world and into our hearts. Mary was a very special servant of God and she was waiting for God and she was given a surprise like I was surprised oftentimes by the toy or the cupcake or the gift mom brought me. Mary is surprised by the angel who comes and says, you are going to be very special with God. God has chosen you. God surprises us in so many different ways. God surprised St. Joseph when he says, you are gonna be the father of Jesus to take care of this little baby. A little baby needs to be taken care of. And so Joseph is an important person and he's surprised by the angel as Mary is surprised. But Mary is surprised and she's given a special privilege because she would say yes to God, 
because she would open her body and her soul and her spirit to God to give birth to Jesus, God gave her a special privilege of being born without original sin like the rest of us. And so as she was given birth by St. Joachim and St. Anne, those were Mary's parents, Joachim and Anne, and so as she was given birth at the time of her birth, she was born without original sin. And that's what this feast day means. That at the beginning of her life, she's conceived immaculate conception without original sin because she was gave herself to God in a very special way. And as I said at the outset of the Mass, at the end of her life, on the Feast of the Assumption, she too would be honored by the Church at the end of her life, and she would be assumed into heaven body and soul without dying, without having her body decay in this world. And so we honor her today. She waited for God for a special moment in her life, and she was rewarded by the angel who announced that she would be the mother of Jesus. And she was surprised by God, as Joseph was surprised. And we are surprised too, as we prepare for Christmas, Christmas is a time of surprises, which we open gifts. We look at the beautifully wrapped gifts and we say, what's in that gift? And we're surprised by that gift. And that gift that we give and receive with each other, the gifts under the, under the Christmas tree represent the great gift that God gave the world in the gift of his son, Jesus. So as Mary said yes to God, we say yes. We will wait and watch and wait for Jesus to be born in this world. But until he comes, we prepare our hearts for this wonderful surprise of God's gift, the gift that will be born in Bethlehem for us, the little baby Jesus. On this Feast of the Immaculate Conception, since it is a special feast, we say our creed. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, and who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Mary showed complete trust in God. We ask God now to listen to our prayers so that we may follow Mary's example. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer, that we too will say yes to our God and all he asks us to do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer and struggle in life, that they, like Mary, may find comfort in God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may grow in our faith and trust in God as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who take care of them, that God may send him and them his healing love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, that they may experience the joy of heaven, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. God of majesty and power, prepare once again a world for your Son. Help us to wait patiently, as Mary did, for the coming of Jesus, who is our life in the light of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, who become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on this feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin, and grant that as we profess her on account of her prevenient grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her prayers we may be delivered from all of our faults. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the Holy Church, the beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She too, who is the most pure Virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses you place her above all others to be your people, an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with one voice we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the same way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy 
to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Cardinal Archbishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brethren who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints, including our parish patron, St. Patricia, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We join around God's table and we pray as Mary did to be open to the gift of the Spirit as we say the words Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And wherever we are, we acknowledge the presence of Christ among us and so we offer a gesture of peace and love and joy peace be with your good heart lamb of god you take you away take the sins of the world, world have, have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace lord jesus christ son of the living god who by the word Father, in the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world. Be made by your soul, most holy God and Lord. From all my sins and from all evil, be made free for the gift of all life. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us together pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to, to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 
We want to wish all of you and your families a blessed Advent season as you prepare for the coming of Jesus, the birth of our Lord, into our world and into your homes as well, as well as into your hearts. We want to invite all of you and remind you our Christmas Masses. We have three Masses on Christmas Eve at 3 o'clock, at 5 o'clock, and at 10 p.m. So 3 and at 5 in the afternoon and at 10 p.m. in the evening on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day, 7.30, 9.30, 11.30, 7.30, 9.30, 11.30. You must sign up on Sign Up Genius. So please sign up or call the rectory uh, early because we have limited uh, of course, availability for those masses. But have a blessed Advent, and we hope to see you uh, during the Christmas season. Let us pray. Your great love, O Lord, kept Mary from sin. May this holy sacrament of the Eucharist reassure us of your love and free us from our sins. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Born of the Virgin Mary, the Son of God, redeemed mankind, may he enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. You receive the author of life through Mary. May you always rejoice in her loving care. Amen. Amen. And you have come to rejoice at Mary's feast. May you be filled with the joys of the Holy Spirit and the gifts of heaven one day. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and stay with you forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace now to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us in prayer today. May God bless you and keep you safe. Happy Advent.